This is Preppy Pluto. Here's another one of my videos of the playthrough of the Outer Worlds. Let the games begin. Junior Mycologist Log. When I settled on Groundbreaker, I thought this would be my gateway to the stars, the beginning of my epic tale as a space. Now I grow shrooms for a bunch of outlaws. Not even for selling, they just eat the damn things by the handful. Some of the crew have been tripping for weeks. Suppose it could be worse. Heard of a sublight contractor who got dissolved in chemicals. Flushed down waste creek stealing from Lila. Now McRed, he's always happy to see me, calls me his fungus lad. Update. McRed just set a man on fire for having his laces undone. Shit, shit, shit. Maybe I need to be more careful about what I'm growing. Ought to find something that calms him down. Time to experiment. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Cody, say we get out of here before we join whoever that was on the grill. Something you need? What was that about? Back at Jule. Well, I didn't expect her to tall. <clears throat> and did you see the size of her arms? Sounds like you have a crush on her. What? No, maybe I don't. It's like somebody reached into my head and pulled out what I didn't know I wanted. You know how hard it is to find anybody who likes working with tools in a little town like Edgewater? Sounds like you're not sure how you feel. I just met her. How could I be? All I know is I want to talk with her more. Did you see how everybody on Groundbreaker listens to June Lake? She's just, here's how to fix it, and they trust her. It's just, she's calm and knows what to do. I wish I was half so confident. What do you think of the new guy, Felix? He seems like a nice boy to me. I'm glad you gave him a shot. He seems like a risk. All that talk about getting into a fight with his foreman. Because we've never ended up in a fight. I mean, sure, he's a bit rough around the edges. I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path. You seriously think I'm the right sort to put him on the right course in life? You might surprise yourself. We are on a crash course of freedom and we can go as long as we You've returned, and in one piece. Color me in Pratt. I got the parts for the radiators. What now? Good work. I'll take them. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight more infestation. Define slight. More than a few, less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators and here we are. I'll make my way down there. Don't worry, Miss Junle. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. I was fixing that toilet you sent me to repair. The one above the Lost Hope? That was days ago. The fucking door! It locked behind me. And it wasn't until this freighter captain found me that I have my ass like Now get back to work, Pipe. Right away, sir. Suppose it's time to reevaluate my career goals. Keep your wits about you down there. I don't want to clean crispy freelancer bits out of the radiator's gap. Archive logs and transmissions. Arrival confirmation. To HHB Earth Headquarters, transported via probe, archived at SOAR. It is my honor to report that Groundbreaker has successfully arrived at the Lagrange point. 
having released our cargo of prefab housing, settlers, and supplies at their intended colony world. May they prosper and expand. Now that stages one and two of the mission have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the groundbreaker as specified in our contract, keeping the ship in active duty as independent trading post, repair stock, and cargo bay. I'd be remiss if I closed this transmission without sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There's so much ahead of us, but we'll never forget what we left behind. Chief Goying, a stern reminder. Some very rich and unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seem to have the wrong idea about why I flew us out here. It wasn't for a nine-figure blood money salary and a Spacer's Choice logo stamped on my ass. It wasn't to nickel and dime passing ships out of their last bit. Groundbreaker has no role in the success or failure of Halcyon's corporate entities. Period. I negotiated that understanding and clearly outlined it in writing before I ever set foot on this ship. If anyone wants to dispute or compromise our independence, they will answer to a Tennyson. We're a family operation. Even when the last Tennyson falls, Groundbreaker will remember us and defend its freedom accordingly. Chief Goying.
circulation pump terminal. Lithium fluid pressure at 23%, solid state radiators at 102% capacity, PCM heat sinks at 98% capacity, ambient station temperature plus 8 degrees Celsius, machinery shaft temperature plus 29 degrees Celsius, cycle droplet pump. Reminder, not expendable personnel must exit the maintenance shaft before activating the cycling protocol. Cycling, successful. Logs, cobbled together. The staff is getting restless. Workaround and half cock solutions are all we've got to mend groundbreaker's bones. In many cases, we can't revive one system without cannibalizing another. Grandma lived with that reality, and so will I. I can rally our spirits, but what happens when I'm not around? Groundbreaker's real test will be seeing if our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet. JT. Old plans, new problems. Found some of Chief Goyang's old schematic. Groundbreaker must have taken a beating during the crossing because she spent half of her career patching it up. A lot of corners cut when they put this place together. Among her papers, I also found the layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of my docks. Something that might have gotten sealed off along the way, like blood cells isolating an infection. I hate to put that sentiment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find some workaround in the guts of the old bird, it's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. JT. Done. The temperatures are dropped. Stop by once you found your way out of there. Groundbreaker owes you things. My boys are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. We'll be on our way. Just a little bitty boy with hopes and dreams. Then those hopes they manifested to nobody. Hoop dreams, rap wars, it's pop culture that's gorgeous. Skywalker, that force is quite strong that I'm born with. A goofy cornball clout chasing, claiming rap. You the reason why I left. I got bored, I'll take it back. Sandy Borkler is not the worst, I left it. Borkler.
Hey, Captain, can I get your temperature on something real quick? Is the ship about to blow? What? No. If it were, I'd be hollering loud enough to wake the dead. So, June Lay and I have been talking some. Through messages, I got him here on my data pad, and, well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it, because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, but real sweet. How bad can it be? She rhymed compression alternator with aches to meet her. It's about this engine that's shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on the trouble goes away. Sing. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. Sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. Folk who wanted to be with me back in the veil, they didn't, they said I was cold. Everybody's different. Don't worry about it. When folks start implying you're a little different from an auto-mechanical, start to wonder. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends. Got to thinking. Isabel? Who's, who's Isabel? Wow, that went downhill fast. You're looking a little rough. They were close, Captain. More than friends close. They were close. Not anymore. I don't know. June and I talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Who cares? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost hope? If that's what you want, next time we hit the Groundbreaker, drinks are on me. Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready.